Hey, what is going on, Pisces? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your July read, your July read. <laughs> um, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, with all that being said, let's get it. In other words, what message do we have for Pisces for July All right, Pisces. I don't know what that was. Just ignore that. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So the first thing that I'm seeing is, I mean, I feel like, I feel like this like almost hung up energy on, on someone. You know, I, I I mean, I feel like you're thinking about someone, but with this person, I feel like it doesn't work. You know, I, not only does it not work, but I feel like you, I feel like you know it doesn't work. You know, the first thing I'm seeing is you putting in a lot of work. You know, it, it's almost like that energy of trying to fit a, a square where a circle's supposed to go. You know, they don't fit, but I feel like your feelings for this person kind of overwhelm you, you know, and, and it's not so much the person. I, I, I feel like with energy, I, the energy I'm getting here is like, you're ready for that, you know, that special person. And it's almost like you're trying to make this person fit, even though they don't. You know, and, and that's something that I feel like a lot of people do when they're ready, for, when you're ready for love, when you're ready for your forever person. Um, you know, sometimes we we try to make it fit. I, I just don't feel like it does. You know, I, I don't feel like it works with this person. I mean, with this person, a lot of hot and cold energy, you know, in and out. It's not consistent. They're not always there for you. You know, what you need, you're not going to get from this person. But, you know, I, I feel like what you've been waiting for is, is, is here. You know, we got the three, three of wands, that ship coming in. Like I said, it's not this person. But they're, you know, like I, they're right there in front of you. You know, this right person is right here. They're coming. You know, and I feel like very quickly, you know, I, I, I first and foremost, I feel like with this, this energy of this person that you've been waiting for, that person, like I said, I mean, it's already in your life. You know, it's already, for some of you, you might have just met this person. For others, you're about to meet this person. You know, I see communication coming. And I feel like with this person, it, it starts off more a flirtatious vibe. But that's not what this person is about. That's not what they're looking for. You know, it may come off that way. You know, I feel like sometimes when we're not, we can only look one way in life. You know, you can only look one way. You can either look side to side or back or, or forward. 
And I feel like as long as we're looking backwards, we can't see what's in front of us. What's in front of us, what's in front of you, is what you've been waiting for. Like I said, with that three of wands, the ship finally coming in. You know, you know what you want. And that is going to help you a lot with this connection. You know what you want. The only thing, the only thing where we need to do here, what I'm seeing is let go of what doesn't do you any good. And I feel like you will see a, a different perspective. You know, seeing things in a different perspective is going to be a, a huge thing with this connection coming towards you. Now, sometimes when we're not, when we're looking at the wrong place, we're not looking at the right place. And I feel like that's what the energy here is. You know, we're looking at this one person trying to make them the person. You know, they're trying to, you, you're trying to make this person your person. That's not what you're going to get from that. You know, it's like that old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, like I said, I do see communication coming from someone new. Um, and again, for some of you, it's someone you may have just met. And others, it's someone you're going to meet very soon. Now, the difference between this person and any other person, not even just this past person, any other person. I mean, I feel like with this person, there there is an emotional fulfillment, you know, emotional uh, maturity. You know, a very nurturing energy with this person. I mean, they're looking for the same thing you're looking for. Uh, with that hangman, it's it, it, it reminds me of that saying, when you look at the world differently, the world you look at... Or, when you change how you look at the world, the world you look at changes. And that's exactly what I see here. That fits it to a T. You know, we have someone that's emotionally available, emotionally mature, nurturing, you know, looking for the same thing you're looking for. Um, this other person that we were talking about, I mean, it, I, I, I just don't feel like, like I said, sometimes we, we're ready for love. Sometimes we get to a place where we want it so bad that sometimes we try to fit a, try to make a, a square fit where a circle should go. This new person coming in, that's the circle. Now, with this new person, there's a lot of big changes coming. And one of the biggest changes I see is finally, finally being with someone that inspires, you know, inspires you. You know, it promotes love. It's different than anything you've had before. You know, this is someone, like I said, very nurturing, very emotionally available. Someone that shows up. And even though the connection starts off kind of, like I said, it, it, it's seemingly kind of impulsive, but also kind of a flirtatious energy. I feel like this person just wants to get to know you. They, you know, they're looking for the same thing you're looking for. And they just want to be sure of that. And like I said, even though it starts off a little bit of a flirtatious energy, I feel like this is, this starts off with a friendship. You know, this is someone that is very, is going to be very protective of you, you know, and, and they're going to fight for this. And I feel like that's another thing. Like I said, this person shows up, this person fights for this, fights for what you have. You know, and, and with that emperor energy, that nurture, that protector, you know, that person that that shows up when you need them, and they show it when you don't. And, you know, we have the emperor with with that masculine energy, but we also have that feminine energy with the empress. I mean, it, 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 like I said, what you've been waiting for is, is coming. And I feel like sometimes we have to um, just look in the right direction. You know, I, I see new love. 
I see stability. I see someone you can count on, someone you can rely on. And someone that knows what they want. And what they want is what you want. You know, this person isn't just going to fill up some of your cups. They're going to fill up all your cups. You know, that, that emotional fulfillment. You know, sometimes we get with someone and even know it's really windy out. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's crazy. Um, sometimes we meet people that, you know, may fulfill us sexually or may fulfill us mentally, but maybe not emotionally or maybe mentally and emotionally, but not physically. With this person, it's all your cups being filled. You know, this is someone that I, I feel like, like I said, we have new love. Um, but not only is this new love, I, I feel like this is a love that lasts. You know, this is someone that you can open up to and, and they'll open up to you. You know, putting it all out there with that eight of swords in reverse. No holding back. No boundaries. And that's what I mean when I said... Uh, the Six of Swords. You know, there's a lot of big changes coming for you. You're ready for it. You've been ready for it. And, uh, you know, this person is someone that thinks about you as much as you think about them. This is, even though this is very quick, I, I, I feel like it's that leap of faith. You know, with the leap, uh, with the Fool card, it's the beginning of the, of the journey. It's the beginning of the tarot. It's the first card. And not only does this person bring big changes into your life, and not only do I see big changes coming for you, but I feel like this person, you know, the, together there's nothing that you can't do with that strength card. You know, together you're stronger than you were apart. And I see you strong, uh, you know, forming this strong bond. You know, we have that family card. Uh, this is all happening quickly, but like I said, it, I feel like we always, you know, people know when they're ready. You know, I feel like there comes a point when we just know that we're ready. And sometimes we, we fit we try to fit something where it doesn't belong. And I'm not gonna say it again. Um, it's because we're ready. You know, and the person that we want to be that person or the person that we think could be that person, sometimes they just, they're just not. And when we realize that, you know, I, I feel like we have to trust our intuition here. I feel like you already know what I'm telling you. I feel like this is just confirmation. I feel like you knew that other person was not the person. But you wanted it so bad that sometimes we, we ignore the red flags. Or sometimes we even collect the red flags. Uh, with this person coming in, this is someone that is exactly what you've been waiting for. But, I mean, we we're, as long as we're looking back, we can't see forward. You know, try it right now. You know, next time you go for a walk, try walking backwards without looking backwards. <laughs> you know? Or try walking forward while looking backwards. I mean, that's how you trip. You know, we can only concentrate. And I know I said it that earlier. I think I messed it up, but... You know, we can only focus on one direction. As long as we're looking in the wrong direction, we're always going to go in the wrong direction. Uh, but with this person coming in, I mean, this is something that, this is the person you were meant to move forward with. You know, the one is in your life. The one you've been waiting for, they're there. It's just not who you thought it was. Or who you, like I said, I feel like you already know. 
you know, I, I feel like deep down when you when you watch this, you already know that that other person is not the one. Whether you want to admit it or not. But this one coming in, it's a whole different ball game. You know, like I said, this is someone that's on the same page, that wants the same things. This is someone that, I mean, there's no boundaries. This person is there. They show up. You know, this is that person you can crawl in your little cave with and, and just hibernate if you wanted to. They're okay with that. I like it. You know, it's... Um, anyway. With this person, I mean, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio... We have some Aries, some Sagittarius. I mean, we have some Taurus too. And Aquarius. Got some Virgo in there as well. You know, we had the, we did have the devil. Um, It's not, it's such a thing. It's, from my experience, I've seen this a lot. You know, I've seen people try to make something that it's not because they want it. You know, they want it so bad that sometimes we, we don't realize that it's not good for us. Um... You know, it, we know when we're ready. I feel like that's just the thing. We just know when we're ready. And when we're ready, we're ready. Um, one of my good friends, and yes, I have a lot of friends. <laughs> one of my good friends, um, you know, she was getting to the point where she was ready. You know, she she was at the point where she wanted to settle down. She wanted to have kids. She wanted to have a family. You know, she got she knew what she wanted. She had a good career. She had a good you know she had a good job. But she was like like she always used to say, my biological clock is ticking. You know, I gotta have I, I want to have kids, but I don't want to have kids when I'm forty. You know, so. She was dating this guy for a while, and even though I feel like she wouldn't admit it, but I feel like she knew he wasn't the one. Um, you know, she ended up getting married um, not long after she got pregnant. And not long after, they broke up. Uh, he ended up getting with someone else. And now... She was just heartbroken. You know, she was, I remember we had this conversation where she said, you know, I, I had everything I wanted, but it didn't, it didn't give me everything I needed. And that always kind of really st stuck with me when she said that because she got what she wanted but she didn't get what she needed. And I, and I still, she still denies it, but I, I feel like she knew. She knew that he wasn't the one, but I feel like because she wanted it so bad, she made it so that he was. But um, a few years later, she ended up meeting a guy and they're still together and she seems really happy. And that's how I think I mean, this in my in my thought process is why her admitting she was wrong is by telling me that she never felt like when she met him, she never felt like that before. You know, everything just clicked. And I know she she tells me all the time that she regrets, you know, getting married and stuff to, to the other guy. But I mean, I. 
in all honesty, I, I mean, they both made a mistake. I, I feel like he knew she wasn't the one. She knew he wasn't the one. But I feel like they were both, they both kind of wanted to move forward. Like, they wanted to have that. And I mean, I no, I mean, he, they, they broke up long before he got with someone else. He was never a bad guy to where they just weren't compatible. Um, you know, and there doesn't always have to be a bad guy or a bad girl. You know, sometimes people just weren't meant to be that. And it's funny because they're still friends. You know, they co-parent better than anybody I've ever seen. And it, it's even kind of strange because they kind of, you know, uh, last year they went on vacation together. Him and his new wife and her and her new boyfriend. Um, you know, some people have that compatibility. And I, and I think her and her past, the, the, one, the man that she married, I feel like they were always meant to be friends. They have a great connection. It's just not romantic. It's not intimate. And sometimes I feel like that happens to people too. Sometimes we mistake the connection we have with someone with a romantic connection. You know, you could be best friends with someone and you, you can tell them anything and talk about anything with them. They're always there for you. It doesn't mean they're, they're, they're supposed to be your person. And that shit can get confusing. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it can. You know, I, uh, I mean, I feel like there's a, there's a very thin line there, but there is a line. You know, they both cared about each other and they got married and they had a kid and I'm glad that they co-parent. I'm so glad that they still get along. Uh, like I said, they went on vacation uh, last year, which was, which was kind of funny. I don't know if I'm a big enough person to do that, but then again, I've never been in that situation, so I don't know. Uh, I just don't. I just feel like they never romantically connected like that. You know, they got along great. They had a great friendship and I feel like they took it one step too far, but they were both ready. And I, and I feel like sometimes it's the person that's around you that, you know, maybe one day they, you know, all these days leading up, they weren't the one, but then you get to the point where you're like, I need, to move forward, I need to have a family. And so that person is, is present and just being present isn't enough. But like I said in the read, I, I feel like this person coming in, or like I said, for some of you, you may have already just met this person. Uh, for others, it is coming very quickly. Um, but with this person, it, it, it just feels different. You know, it just hits different. Always trust your intuition. You know, and, and I say this all the time, but I'm gonna say it again. Always trust your intuition. It's not always gonna tell you what you wanna hear, but it'll always tell you what you need to hear. And, and don't be afraid to hear the hard truths because sometimes the truth is hard to hear, but it, it doesn't make it any less true. You know, it's a... Uh, I've talked about it before. I've had a past relationship where she was horrible to me, but I was, I wanted to start a family, you know? And I, and I tried to make her, in my mind, I made her a better person than she was. And it's not that she was a bad person. I, I guess I, I shouldn't say it that way. In my mind, I try to make her a person that she wasn't. Fortunately enough, I found out and, uh, you know, I, I fought for her for a long time and then I realized I was the only one fighting. And then I met Rose and the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> With Rose, it was just different. You know, I didn't have to work so hard at, at love. Love isn't hard work. Connections can be, but a real connection, it's worth the work. You know, real love isn't just about 
it, it, it's not about rainbows and, and, and unicorns. It's not about every day being perfect. It's about two people putting in everything they have to make every day better. You know, lots of people have different relationships and some are harder than others. But it's not about how hard it is or how easy it is. It's what you're putting into it. If you have two people working to make it work, if you have two people that are always showing up, that's what's important. Anyway, I'll, I'll get out of here and stop ranting. <laughs> Be good. Take care. Stay safe.